Hello everyone, my name is Haseeb Shaukat and on behalf of Microsoft Pakistan, I will be uh, giving you an overview about Imagine Cup. So, uh, Imagine Cup is basically all about imagination. Imagination to prove yourself, to come up with your potential, your ability, your talent to combat the world's toughest problem. By the world's toughest problem, I mean any real life problem, any real life, uh, real life challenge that the mankind is currently facing and you come up with a software based solution of that problem so that's that's basically the imagine cup so a competition which started in 2003 with only 1000 students this year we had more than 350000 students from almost 183 countries in the united states so uh, we have a small video about the imagine cup history which will tell you what imagine cup experience is it's not just a competition, uh, it's a platform where you interact with the students around the world, with the faculty all around the world. And there are a couple of learning sessions involved, there are a couple of entertaining activity activities involved. So uh, let's watch this video.
Imagine Cup 2011, New York. So uh, this slide is almost uh, the same slide. Uh, it started in 2003 from Barcelona, uh, then it went to Brazil, Japan, India, South Korea, and in 2011 in, uh, at United States. So uh, there are basically seven categories uh, this year in Imagine Cup. Uh, the first category is software design category. This is the main category of Imagine Cup, which is managed by uh, all local subsidiaries of Microsoft. By local subsidies, I mean this is a competition which is managed locally by every country where Microsoft has uh, uh, its presence. The rest, all competitions are uh, managed online. Uh, so these uh, these these categories have different timelines, different rounds. So uh, uh, our core uh, our core focus in the Microsoft subsidiary is uh, the software design category but yes uh, since it's it's uh, one imagine cup so uh, we we definitely support other categories as well so uh, as I, I told you basically the, there is one theme of imagine cup that is to solve the world's toughest problem but when you go uh, in depth there are basically eight key areas which you uh, and united nations has identified and your solution or your challenge has to be uh, uh, is uh, should be focused uh, in these areas so uh, it, it's basically eradicating poverty combating HIV environmental sustainability developing partnerships and also basically uh, whatever solution you come up whatever solution you provide it should be uh, focused on these eight key areas now I have to show you two more videos. Uh, these videos basically will guide you about the scope and level of projects uh, that any student, or any student or any team needs to develop to uh, make a winning project and compete in uh, Imagine Cup. So uh, the first project is from UET Lahore. Uh, these were the four girls who uh, developed an amazing touch surface from almost a junkyard material. Uh, they used a second hand projector, uh, they used an IR sensor, uh, they uh, assembled a plexiglass uh, and gave them a, a support for using wooden blocks and uh, developed a touch surface. Uh, on an average, uh, Microsoft touch surface uh, is around 10,000 uh, US dollars and uh, they uh, developed this project uh, for uh, less in less than 25,000 per rupee so uh, this is something amazing and this is the actual creativity and uh, talent of Pakistani students so uh, let's watch this video made an economical touch surface and the, uh, its hardware consists of an ordinary plexiglass and uh, the image you can see on the surface is projected from a projector uh, placed underneath it and uh, the finger detection that you can see uh, is done by our software. The frames are captured by the infrared camera placed un under the box. It is not using any sensors in it. It's the functionality of it. Uh, for the hardware part, let me show you. We have used rear projection. Uh, we have used a projector and used a mirror to project it from the back side of the mirror. The glass we have used is plexi glass, which is a simple glass. It has no sensors at all. Uh, we used a projector for the rear projection and we used an ordinary webcam. We have made it to IR webcam uh, by ourselves. We have removed the filter from it. 
and we have placed our uh, photo film in it. Um, now it is only detecting the IR light and it is blocking the uh, visual spectrum. As you can see in the following. Next project is from Fast Islamabad. Uh, again, uh, their idea uh, is not new. Uh, these kind of applications are uh, usually available uh, on the internet, uh, but uh, the way they presented it, the way they build their storyline, and uh, the way uh, their project supported the pronunciation uh, was amazing. So uh, let's see this video. Voice control cellular system. Okay, uh, this year I also got the opportunity uh, to witness the Imagine Cup Worldwide Finals. I uh, interacted with a couple of students, a couple of faculties, a couple of uh, my colleagues all around the world. So I extracted some learnings from uh, the Imagine Cup Worldwide Finals. And, we, and I think if we work on those areas, we can definitely uh, secure the Cup for Pakistan this year. So first of all, whenever you work for Imagine Cup, try to work on the most and the latest emerging technologies. So currently, uh, the most emerging technologies are Windows Phone platform and the cloud platform. So uh, when you will work on these areas, you will be able to uh, be uh, to you, you will be able to get more freedom when it will come to technology. You will have access to the latest resources, and uh, everyone uh, at Microsoft in the industry in the academia will support your idea. Will be able to guide you properly. Similarly, whenever you develop or you come up with an idea, don't try to invent wheel again. 
mostly and it happens in 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 Pakistan that uh, our FYPs are uh, replicated again and again again and again every year so let's just not do that try to be a little creative try to come up with something different something innovative and uh, so that uh, at the end of a day you yourself are satisfied that okay you have developed this innovative product so don't try to invent the wheel again now there are students uh, who sometimes try to come up with a solution which can uh, combat all the eight areas identified before so uh, ideally uh, it's it's very challenging it's I'm not saying it's not possible but it's too challenging so focus on maybe one challenge but come up with this solution which which is so uh, influensive which is which has got uh, enough potential to combat that area so uh, try you can come up with one challenge and secure the cup uh, rather than uh, rather than coming up or thinking for a solution which can combat all the eight key areas similarly whenever uh, you build a solution don't think that since you belong to a developing country so you cannot uh, compete the developed countries uh, every student all around the world is same I have interacted with students from development developed countries I have interacted with the students with uh, uh, in, in underdevelopment country so everyone is same uh, even the course even the technology uh, when I am talking about the software technology uh, everything is same so uh, you 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 are not nobody is unique uh, everyone uh, has the same capability uh, now what you need whenever you think to come up with a project to compete in the imagine cup you need to believe in yourself with a little seriousness to uh, to combat a real life problem you have to believe in yourself and and you can definitely win the cup so what are the next steps you go to the imagine cup site today uh, make your team register yourself and make your team select the competition category uh, if you're competing in the software design category come up with a one pager document containing your project idea and submit your entry at the imagine cup Pakistan site and submit your application on this email address now we have divided the software design category in four rounds so round one is basically the idea hunt round in this round you have to submit a one page document to us uh, explaining your idea uh, idea means uh, what the problem you have identified and what is the solution that you are coming up with similarly the next round will be technology inside in this round you will be telling us what's the technology you are using for example how much hardware component is in your project how much software component is in your project which tool is using for what purpose and then the round three is a detailed project report this is the most important report in which you tell us each and every feature of your project each aspect of your project e, uh, you 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 uh, present us a demonstration of your of your project you can you you will share the snapshots of your project so based on this report we will shortlist you for the pakistan finals and only uh, five top teams are uh, quali uh, uh, qualify for the pakistan finals then uh, after the Pakistan finals we identify one team which is called Pakistan winner and uh, and they represent Pakistan in the Imagine Cup worldwide finals so this year Imagine Cup worldwide finals are planned in Sydney Australia so uh, these are the timelines around one is on and the last day to submit your entries uh, is 30th of January for round one similarly round two will end on in February around three will end in March around four will end in April and uh, the Imagine Cup World Finals will be held in July so um, if you have any questions uh, this is uh, my email address uh, I'm the main point of contact for Imagine Cup in Pakistan uh, similarly for any kind of Imagine Cup updates for any kind of Imagine Cup uh, queries you can uh, follow us on these blogs you can post me any query by email I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible uh, so thank you very much for your time